So one of the practices that I use very often and I encourage people to use if they're trying to tap into their inner guidance, their inner wisdom, and this comes within the delta frequency of tapping into your spirituality. And this is actually using intuition cards. Now, I was very much when I was younger afraid to use these kind of things and always thinking that they were like tarot cards and they're kind of spooky or you're not really sure what they mean or if they even work. And I just wanted to show a little demo um, of a way you could use them. But I do want to preface that there is really no right way to do this. The whole exercise of this is to develop a relationship with your own inner guidance, your inner compass. And it's like dancing and meditating. There's infinite ways you can do it. And the meaning that comes from it, again, is just personal to you. So a card you pick may not be correct for someone else. And it's just trusting that whatever you pick is also what's meant to show up for you in that moment. I use these very often for guidance. If I'm going through my week and I need, there's a question on my mind or a topic or something I'm not really sure and want an answer. Sometimes I use this just when I really am curious to see what comes through. I even use it at the beginning of my year. So I would go and then pick a card for every month of the year and spookily they are always very accurate for the theme that comes through then for the year ahead. So I'm just going to show you a few little tips. doesn't matter what card you use or what card deck. I personally really love inner compass cards. They have many different types. They've also got ones for children. This in particular is the love version, which you can use for a relationship with yourself or with others. It's just a really yeah, beautiful and artistic deck of cards. There are other ones, angel cards, animal cards, archetypes. I would just feel into what you're drawn to and what you want to use. And how I would normally begin with this is you're getting cards in your hands and you can take a moment to close your eyes, really arriving there on the mat or wherever you're sitting. Maybe giving the cards like a bit of a shake in case someone used them before. It's almost just cleansing some of the energy out of it. And you can take a moment to close your eyes and think of the question. It may not be an exact question you have of, I want an answer about this topic. It could be an emotion you're feeling, but whatever the charge is, that's what I like to call sometimes when you have something in your body that's giving it attention, it's like a charge of electricity. Whatever that is, just focusing on that, feeling that very deeply, and imagining almost the energy coming out of your hands and going into the card deck. And you can do this taking some breaths. You can do this for as long as it feels right. Some people like to really meditate on it beforehand. And how I like to do this, and again, this is just my personal preference, is when I feel ready, I can then draw the cards out into a semicircle. And the beautiful thing about this is this is intuition. So you'll also develop a technique that works for you as you go through this. Um, for myself, when I first started doing this, it really felt like temperature. So the temperature felt very warm on my palm when I would go over a card. Nowadays, as I've been using this more and more, and as I have a deck that I work with very frequently, um, it gets quicker and quicker, the card I feel wants to come up. And now, personally, it feels like I hit a wall. I hit like a literal block. Like my hand has to go over a gap almost. So I would just ask you to close your eyes. And then when you're putting your hands over the cards, feeling the question in your palm as you're going over the cards like this. And eventually at some point, doesn't matter how fast, how slow, you can keep your eyes open, closed, however you feel. A card will at some point come up. And a beautiful thing also is sometimes this happens by sight. So from the moment that you put your cards out, there might be one that's just screaming at you in a way. Now it depends when you picked a card, if they have a little book with it, sometimes a beautiful little diagram. Hmm. I like to read through 
through the and something I'd like to just add is also if you're shuffling your cards at the beginning and a card falls out don't pick it up and put it back in because that's often the card that wanted to come out I've had this before when a card has fallen out I've then gone through this whole process and it's the card I picked is the exact same card again so I was like okay cool that was the one I'm supposed to be picking so there's no real right or wrong way to do this and yeah it's just another exercise you can do to take the time to tap into yourself and your own guidance not always needing to ask for guidance from other people and yeah I'm really curious to hear if you've had any really crazy card pulls any crazy experiences I had it once when I picked a card and then this was about a particular partner at the time and then the next day I meet with them and ask them to pull a card and they pulled the exact same card so yeah sometimes it's very spooky the things that come through so yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video thank you